So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's episode, uh, what we episode 27 now, um, and look, obviously it's Christmas time, okay, so Merry Christmas to you all, or Happy Holidays, whatever you guys say, but it does mean that uh, the videos are going to be a little bit slower over Christmas, obviously, you know, I'm not going to be sitting here recording on Christmas Day, and I wouldn't expect you guys to sit here and watch Master League all day, so... Expect uh, lesser videos through the holidays, but don't worry, January time, we're back to bashing them all out. It's just kind of the way things go. But anyway, today's video, first of all, we've got a lot of new mods. I've spent the last day, like, putting in new stadiums, um, like, dirt mods and other stuff, and, you know, just loads of stuff, really. So, that's been added. We've got some new kits, as you can see, a new sponsor. A uh, new lad over on Twitter sent me them. Uh, he's been a huge help. There's also another guy who's been helping me out tremendously uh, with all of these. And I want to give him a shout out because he's honestly, he sent me all his files and everything else. He's been an absolute beast. So, uh, Jeremiah, thank you very much, sir, from Twitter, has been helping me out a bucket load. Um, so, yeah, we've got some new kits. I'll show you those just for Everton, though. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get Kit Server to really work with the Pez Uni patch that I'm using on PC. So we're gonna have a probably won't be able to do that. And then I forgot that I have Luigi as well that I've created. So if I start using other patches with edit files, I'm going to lose him. So, you know, we're gonna have to just stick with what we have. But we still have the stadiums and all the fun stuff and the Champions League anthem and the Premier League, you know, it's all there. So I'll show you the kits once we dive into it. So let's dive into what we're doing today. If the headphones would get out of the way, there we go. So, as you can see, we've got some huge faces here. Uh, <laughs> a different mini face pack for you. Uh, but this is the lineup we're going to be looking to play. We're going to be going for Orspira in goal. I'm going to start him today. I mean, he, you know, he's meant to be a 16-year-old, and he looks about 40, uh, which is quite amusing. But we're going to have him in goal. Got to grow him. Keen, Mina, Denya, and Mbabu with uh, Barrios, Allen, uh, Kulisevsi is going to start as an AMF today because James Rodriguez uh, is down, and Olsen is also down. That's why they're not playing. Sebastian Vila will be on the right, um, Richarlison on the left, and Calvert-Lewin starts up top. Luigi's also had a little bit of a hair change. He's now got a swaggalicious new hairband that I'll show you. So there's the lineups for you. And there's a look at West Ham, who I believe aren't doing very well right now. They are bottom. No wins, no draws, four defeats. Hmm, it's almost like Man United today against Sheffield United. If they can't, if we can't win this, it's going to be quite embarrassing. So as you can see, uh, let's have a look at Luigi Jr. There he is. Look at him. And there's the kit, by the way. I like it. I kind of, it's subtle. Apparently Monster Energy, they could be the sponsor at some point at Everton. I don't know, but it's a new season. We've mixed it up. But Luigi's got the headband. It's all matching. It's fantastic. That's what we're going for with the Italian. So we're also going to be ignore these settings. Um, it's going to say 15 minutes. I could put it on five minutes. It doesn't matter. These matches are all going to be 18 minutes long. I've gone into Cider and I've adjusted it. So with 18 minutes, we're expecting uh, some lovely, lovely things. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into it. So let me show you the kits real quickly. Here's your home one, as you guys saw. Uh, the away one is sort of... Uh, you know, a yellowy uh, light bulb type color. Actually, I probably need to change the, the ones at the bottom. Uh, and then this one, the, the third kit is pretty tasty, to be honest. It's quite fiery. Uh, and I've also got sort of a fourth Champions League kit. This would only be used in the Champions League because it has the uh, emblem on the side. But I might use it, I might not. Really depends. Uh, and then West Ham, let's just give them... Uh, what colour today? Give them the black kit. There we go. All right, without further ado, let's dive into match day, what, number four. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, this is a newly updated Goodison Park for you. They're actually in a stadium tunnel. And listen to this. Have a listen. Listen to the sound, people. If you're an Everton fan, you'd know that song. Pretty tasty stuff. Love it. But yeah, much better stadium this one. As you can see, you've got the Premier League um, little arch thing behind it. Looks great. Players are getting ready to perform. 
a big game, a big game. And I'd, I'd like to get the fonts on the back. I just, I can't do it, I believe, without like kit server working. So unfortunately, you know, it's, it's the little things uh, that you kind of have to deal with. Anyway, here we go. We are off and running. 90 minutes to play and this is going to be uh, a little bit of a longer match so it's going to be about taking our time here and just seeing what we can do against West Ham they're already starting off extremely deep as you can see they're almost inviting pressure on themselves All right Kulisevsky let's see what you've got and Babu little fake and a ball up the line here towards uh, Vila and he's run off the field hmm well, a chance here, could be uh, Declan Rice to have a go, now he's decided to play one of the worst free kicks you'll ever see, what an absolute shocker there, and now Richarlison says, well I'll do this myself, I'll go it alone if no one wants to close me down, feeds it off, lovely pass to Richarlison's ball was good, but Calvert-Lewin's touch was atrocious, and Barrios uh, takes claim, of course Everton head back into the Champions League after this one, and I don't know what on earth that was. So plenty of players to choose from, but the big man of Mina will certainly be one of the favourites. Oh, flicked on towards Kino, but he couldn't get the header. And West Ham have uh, won a foul for something. I don't know what for. For this, you be the judge. Where's the foul, ref? Come on, come on. Yeah. Mm. Sebastian Vela now, he's got some space and some time and it's a good looking pass to Kulisevsky but a good challenge as well and now a chance for West Ham it's all a little bit back and forth right now not a whole lot of consistency between these two although Calvert-Lewin picks it up Kulisevsky, lovely feet by him and he has been caught now there's no Hames but Kulisevsky's pretty good in this range Dinya's also a possibility a lovely feat here by the Swede too quick and uh, a close line in the face by Diup well it's going to be Dinya 27 metres out obviously the top corner is always uh, what you're looking to aim for question is how's the free kick going to be it's a good save it was a decent height in the end uh, I believe that's Randolph in goal just needed to be a little bit more in the corner. So is it going to be third time lucky for the Toffees? Dupe against Mina. Mina does win the header. Oh, and Babu had a chance. Comes back towards Villa. It's flicked away. And another corner. Fourth corner of the game. And the chances and the pressure keeps on mounting. It's going to be Mina who does win it again. But the little touch was easy pickings for Randolph. West Ham just got to get a little bit of possession right now not by doing long balls like that so all they're going to be doing is giving it straight back to uh, the home side Masaku up against Mbabu does well Cresswell looking for that long pass does come back towards Fernals Mina steals it away from him now a chance as Mina does look for Kulisevsky and it's a wonderful pass surely it's 1-0 oh he's hit the post should have used the arrow shouldn't we but there we go we hit the bloody post 32 minutes played I don't think we've seen a whole lot of uh, West Ham in this one here is Allen does find the sweep up against Lanzini good feet still going towards Mbabu players are towards the near post players also falling on the turf Barrios back inside Kulusevsky again this guy's Mr. Twinkle Toes it's unlucky there and he is buzzing for today's game as well but Everton just have to keep this pressure on keep working for it eventually something's got to click now Richarlison feeds it through the middle Kulusevsky Calvert-Lewin it's Richarlison and he couldn't keep it down Let's look at the interceptions. Mean has been the busiest so far. Five for him. It's Vila. Kulusevsky back towards him now. Oh, well, Kulusevsky all alone in the middle. Well, he was going to do the magic. Feeds it across and Allen's there for the goal. Finally, finally, finally. I mean, this is why West Ham are bottom of the table, folks absolutely atrocious at the back all over the place 
Nice bit of play. Worked it well. You know, Kulisevsky's pulling the strings as an AMF today. I'm liking him. Lovely little touch here. He could have struck this, but why would you? Lays it back, and he's not going to miss from there. 1-0. Now Richarlison. Couldn't quite find him. Cresswell looking for another long ball, but it's just not happening. Keep playing the same balls that aren't working. What's the point? Sebastian Veyer does well towards Richarlison. Oh, good touch. Lovely control as well by the Brazilian there to get that down. I enjoy playing with these players, though, because they have the ability to dribble. They're fast, they're quick, they're nimble. Look at that touch. That would have been some goal. Touch and finish. Dinya, how many corners have we had this half? I'm not quite sure. This time it was a, a different approach. And he goes back towards Dinya. Just about keeps it on. Kulusevski. Towards Allen. Lovely play by Allen there. The feet was exceptional. A little super cancel to open up some space. It works. That's what I love about Pez versus FIFA. Super cancel is an absolute beaut. You can do so much stuff. Look at this. Just a quick super cancel and you draw the foul. Well, we're going to let Kulusevski have this one because Dinya failed to uh, impress me in the last one. So let's see what he can do. Even worse. Even worse, folks. Shocking there. Forget it. No. Well, it's been 10 attempts to zero in this match so far. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on with West Ham, but they are in turmoil at the back. They clearly need uh, something to happen, something to change. Maybe the second half will be different, but the domination is real. And it's uh, another fantastic ball up the line. Calvert-Lewin, Kulosevsky this time, and he's missed again. Come on, Kulu. I don't know what's going on with West Ham. Honestly, they are dreadful. Absolutely baffling how bad they are. Weaker foot. Should have scored, though, shouldn't it? Back inside. Barrios. Skip past Lanzini, but uh, Lanzini did well to read it. Now a chance for West Ham finally to bring it forward. But Masaku's up against uh, Mbabu, and it's, it's not even a contest there, is it? Great play, although they are as... Uh, Via, I keep saying Via, Via, Sebastian Via, V, 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 that's what we've got to remember. Anyway, four hours. Now, Bowen, you know what could happen. West Ham could have one chance and score. We've seen it happen many times, and it can happen. Here is Fredericks now, needs to deliver, does deliver. Keane gets it away. Back to uh, Rice, clumsily, uh, clumsily into Allen, and there's an effort from distance. And Keane tidily. Oh, Ospina, what you're playing at. Shaky hand by the 16-year-old who looks about 37. Well, the first change for West Ham, Yarmolenko makes an appearance. Well, two changes for Everton. Allen replaced by Andre Gomez and Luigi with his new headbands on. So, Allen, not normally a player that Luigi would take off, but I think he's also got that Champions League match in mind and... Well, Andre Gomez is certainly a good replacement. Anyway, Sebastian Veyan out with a chance. Kulisevsky back towards him. They've worked it well. Feeds it across. Luigi! Oh, his chance was there and he fluffed it because he, he took too long to shoot, didn't he? Couldn't get the ball down quick enough. And Sebastian Vila there just being uh, unselfish. Could have got himself, but trying to get the Italian a goal. Andre Gomez taking a fortnight to get it down. Barrios. Here is Luigi. Sebastian Veya over the top. And it's out for the uh, what, 100th corner. So Dinya once again. He's had so many corners today. Can Everton make the most of this one? Oh, Kulisevsky's hit the post. And now he's hit the bar. So close to scoring, but just can't get it right. Just loops it over. Come on, son. Well, there is your shot count. 14 attempts to one. It's madness. And yes, this is <laughs> this is on Superstar, folks. But, you know, there's a reason why West Ham are lying where they are in the table. And, oh, I thought he scored that. I, I was... Oh, I just about to jinx myself completely saying that. And then West Ham go and do this. And I, I thought he put this in the net. And honestly, well, it was harder than it looked.
but still it's close well, I don't think Luigi would complain too much about the performance it's just putting him away isn't it it's the main problem putting him in the back of the net when you can West Ham are just too deep right now it's Barrios Kulusevski there Kulusevski oh lovely feet this time finally scores now this new boy, he is going to be a player to watch. I mean, he's on full blue today, and you've seen what he can do. West Ham can't contain him. Cannot contain him at all. And they're too deep for a start. Fed it across, gave it back to him. This little fake completely fooled the defender. And then the flick, finish, beautiful. So the final change is uh, Richarlison off, and Saar is coming on. So there we go, Richarlison, yeah, he's done all right today. Just got an assist, so fair enough. Cresswell with that long clearance away. Barrios flicks it on. Vila, lovely pass to Mbabu. He has got some players in there, took a, a slight deflection. And it's fallen back towards Gomez, and well, you might as well have a go. Sa. Go on, Dinya. Keep going, son. Get in the box, players. Let's uh, drill one of the old L1s in. Looking for the back post. Barrios flicks it on. Mbabu now. Feeds it across. Goes down. And the referee. There's two fouls there for you. I might even let Luigi have a go on this one. We've, we've had Kulisevsky have a go. We've had Dinya have a go. I'm tempted to let Luigi have a bash. And there was two free kicks for this one. The second one was given. This guy draws the fouls all the time. All the time. All right, well, 22 metres out here. It, it's a close one. It's, it's going to have to be a very fast up and down scenario. But can we do it with Luigi? Come on, buddy. Have you got the gift? Have you got what it... Oh, that was... It was like that. It was like that. It just needed a slightly bit more elevation, and it could have been in. So Declan Rice... To swing in the free kick looking for Antonio comes back towards Cresswell his strike comfortably claimed by Ospina who's going to launch this one out because he's seen Luigi all on his own and nearly found him one thing Luigi will not be happy about is if Everton do concede they will not be happy about conceding when you've dominated a match this much I mean look at that again the guy is just unbelievable this guy feeds it across chance this time for Saab Kulisevsky man Keep an eye out for a future Ballon d'Or, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's a little bit too premature, but still. The guy's got some class, and there is the full-time whistle. It does finish two goals to nil. It probably should have finished about seven or eight goals to nil. Maybe we had, what, 17, 18 attempts to two? Unreal how bad West Ham were today, but no doubt Kulisevsky will get man of the match. There it is. 17 attempts to three i'm going to double check that i put that on superstar honestly and uh man of the match yeah was the sweet so the other results for you leads to brighton two fulham nil leicester two uh, wolves losing four nil to bournemouth where man united win one goal to nil southampton four newcastle nil chelsea win one nil liverpool drew against arsenal crystal palace drew against tottenham and Man City beating Watford. So there we have it. Still top three right now. Uh, contest between the two Manchester sides and ourselves. Chelsea at fourth, Liverpool up to fifth with Arsenal. So all the top teams really up there. Bottom of the table, yeah, West Ham still useless. And uh, have they scored a goal yet? No, they haven't. They haven't scored a single goal. Norwich also bottom with no points. And Newcastle with the one point. All right, so we are taking on Sporting Braga in this one uh, with the Champions League. There it is, as you saw, but we don't want any copyright stuff, so we're not going to do it. Let me just double check here. There it is, Superstar. There it is. I've never seen a so one-sided game before. It was crazy. Anyway, let's come up with a lineup for today. We'll see how it comes up against them, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, folks, so, uh, yeah, a lot of changes. A lot of changes will be happening here. We're going to start off Spina again because Olsen is on uh, on a downslide for some reason. Uh, we're going to do Tar and Mina, the two big men at the back today. I know Keane's up for it on blue, but the stamina's looking a little down. This is where it's going to start getting tough, by the way, because 
The form's going to go up and down, but then also the stamina is going to come into play. So we are going to need a lot of rotation. Aaron's is going to start on the right today. And Babu, give him a rest. Uh, Dinya on the left. We're going to go for Alan, Andre Gomez, and David today. James Rodriguez is fit ish, but his stamina is still not great. It's only a 73. So I don't know. I like David on a plane. Uh, Kulusevski is going to start on the right. Fantastic game the last match. Going to start him. Richarlison gets a rest. Vila goes on the left. And then Luigi starts up top. Calvert-Lewin is down for today. So, yeah, it's a big change. Big alteration. But I don't really know what to expect from Sporting Braga. I don't know. They could play like West Ham. Could play like Barcelona. But we'll find out. Anyway, let's dive into it. I hope you guys do enjoy this one. I see that the big question is, as you can see, we've got kind of a new background here is we could use if we use the champions league one the only reason i use this is because of the sleeve if you check out the sleeve we've got the champions league logo there so yeah i think we'll use that one today all right uh let's do it so here we are live champions league football makes a return and the tunnel looks fantastic and you should also hear the old Champions League anthem. You I mean you never get bored of it? Of course, I won't be hearing it anymore because Man United decided they didn't want to be in it anymore. This is the only time I'm going to get to listen to the Champions League anthem daily. <laughs> anyway, let's dive right into it because you know we don't want any audio copyright strikes going on here. But the boys are ready. They've got that new Champions League kit on, and here we. Go! We are underway for this one. What can the Toffees do after they beat Real Madrid in that first match? They haven't lost a match so far this season. It's been a, a good start for them. Bringing in a, a lot of quality has certainly helped. As Luigi looks to grow this team. Really just grow it from the ground up. Bring in a lot of youth and... Uh, some experience here and there as well as uh, Mina does well and it's a corner the chance for Ricardo Esgao it's quite funny my name is Ricardo for those of you wondering my full name is Ricardo Italian yes it is as the ball's delivered in chance here for a strike possibly but uh, well Sebastian Vila was just said I'm going to take this myself and now Kulusevski has got options he's got Luigi to his left He's got David to his right. He may do it himself. He lays it across. It's Luigi. Oh, Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. What a chance. Braga players just backing away as they so often do in Pez. Ball up the line, but Vila not quite there. Fast, fast early tempo to this one. And what were these matches now being 18 minutes? There, there are going to be quite a few chances. It's just a case of trying to put them in the back of the net. Brilliant play, Kulusevski again. Feeding up the line. It's too much. It's too much. And here is Alan. Kulusevski flicks it on. David. Nice little turn by him. And the Swede's going to have a strike from distance. Why not? He's on full form. He's feeling the buzz after picking up that goal and assist against a, a pathetic West Ham. I think that's how you sum it up. There is a reason why they have not scored a goal so far in the opening uh, what five matches this season as the referee has deemed this worthy of a foul live on BT Sport 1 today in HD but inside this is better by Sporting and then uh, curse the commentator as they give it away and uh, Kulusevski now has got a lot of space and green ahead of him what's he going to do with it well the goalie was coming out wasn't quite the right pass but it has fallen back to there. He feeds it off. David, good feed by him. Still going, does well, brings the foul. And that's what you need, a bit of quality on the edge of the box. Not going to give a yellow, of course, because why would you? But Dinya will probably be up for this one. Far, you know, past the first challenge. And then, ooh, an interesting uh, tangle of legs. Very, very close to the goal here. It's just going to be a case of can he get it up and down in such a short space of time. And your answer to that one is a resounding yes. He can all day, all night. Thumb in the mouth, ball in the net. And Luigi with the old fist pump. Loves that suit. But there's the threat. There's the threat that you're going to have 
when you concede a free kick from that type of range and Everton grab the lead and Andre Gomez looking for Luigi Junior gets past the first challenge and he might as well hit it but he hasn't got the power folks that's the problem people often say stats don't mean anything oh they mean stuff trust me trust me I've banged in some fantastic goals of Ronaldo that you wouldn't score with the likes of Luigi because he hasn't got the power even the accuracy can can come into play on manual stats mean something that should be a foul either way ref but don't worry about it oh, look, the PS5 ad boards are around uh, the stadium and Dina has committed the foul here is that uh, Francisco Mora Castro Water. Sporting Braga, they're playing some decent football, just can't quite get in. That's the biggest problem. Well, saying that, this could be a chance for them. Well done, Tart. Just came across. They still have players in there, and the header's over the bar. Thankfully, thankfully. Maybe they do miss the likes of Allen, but, but that's going to be the key this year a rotation, keeping players fresh. And if they can do that, Everton. Who knows, only got a chance of picking up some silverware. Here is Luigi, David, Luigi, lovely, oh, he was nearly in again. David hounding his player. Cleared away by the keeper, targets up well. And suddenly you will see a shift of momentum. And Kulisevsky, past the first and the second. Yet again, this guy is just so good on the ball. People say there's no fouls in pairs. There are people, you just have to know how to draw the defenders, how to twist and turn. Use the analog stick, use special controls. Flick one way, then flick the other. It's naughty, it's filthy, but it's a free kicking. Well, he did it before, can he do it again? He's looking for two and two here. Right before the break would be a fantastic time to score! Oh, ho, ho, that deflection, that could have gone anywhere. It nearly found the corner chance for Sporting Braga possibly their first corner of the game it's a good header by Vila now players are forward David swings it around to Kulisevsky one minute this guy's on the right flank now he's on the left flank still going Luigi lovely football it's Sebastian Vea feeds it across David what a counter what a counter from one side of the field to the other in no time Luigi applauds and rightly so this was blistering Kulisevsky pulling the strings again lovely flick by Luigi fed across the light bulbs in the way and David gets his goal fantastic boys so there has been a change for sporting Medeiros is coming off and uh, Galino's come on unchanged for the Toffees unsurprisingly seven attempts to two in the first half made it well certainly more appetizing for the home side to create and score but a lot of time to play in this game Everton will want to try and get as many goals as possible goal difference is always key in such a tournament as this well, here is the new boy's just come on but he's given it away and Dinya now is going to fire that one out wide. Lovely switching pass to Kulisevsky. Every time this guy gets the ball, Everton players get excited about him. Andre Gomez couldn't burst past his man. Paulinho, Galino. Back to Paulinho. Reverse ball, Horta. Challenged by Aarons is a good one. Here is David. Quick feet, Andre Gomez. Now he might say to Luigi, here you go, son. Have a look at this. What have you got up your sleeve? Fires it in, Gomez! Oh. Well, it's probably best chance for Luigi to try and score. He's uh, possibly from across. Kulisevsky looking to get past his man. And the same old story this half for Everton, uh, dictating the game right now. Allen, David, Luigi, Andre Gomez, Luigi again, and oh, I tell you what, it's nearly an own goal. So a change for Sporting Braga as uh, Everton are going to take the corner and everyone's missed it and oh blimey the little cheeky back flick well nearly found the back of the net it's going to be another corner oh looking for David again 
Allen was looking for Mina. I think uh, Kulisevsky may have been offside there. Well, it's going to be Andre Gomez to try and bend one in the far corner. So two changes. Kulisevsky's off. Hamez comes on. And Saar replaces Vila. David is going to push out to uh, the other flank. Here is Hamez. Holds it up well. Aaron's flicks it back towards uh, Allen, who feeds it across. And Andre Gomez! Oh. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. So how many corners are we on now? We're always uh, a lot of corners with Everton about. And the header from Andre Gomez was quite far away. If he'd scored from there, uh, it certainly would have been a special one. It's uh, a big whopper of a clearance. Aaron's has done well to win the header. Viana. Here is uh, Francisco Mora. Does uh, play it inside. Gatan. Masrati. There's Gallo. Dinya trying to hold him up. Fed across. Well done, Mina. I say it all the time, but the consistency of Mina at the back. Unprecedented, isn't it? Guy's different class. Ball's been flicked up the line. Allen. Now David. Hamez. Looking for Luigi. Can Luigi do the magic? Still going, Luigi. <laughs> That's too much in the end, wasn't it? Well, his father told him, look, if you don't try, son, you're never going to succeed in life. So he's certainly trying to score a goal for his father before uh, he doesn't play him ever again. But hang on a minute. This is a chance. Gatan is in. And they've scored one back. And I have to say, um, it's partly Luigi's fault. Not good, is it? Not good. What are we looking at there? The sky, the heavens, but they're back in this. Out of nothing. They haven't deserved it. They have not deserved it, but it was just a, a mess. An absolute mess down the middle, all over the shop. Uh, that's a good finish. Not much Ospina could do. And there's the possession for you. Braga have had a lot of possession. 59%. But Everton, Everton don't really play possession. You know, they try and get it back to front as quickly as they can. And then go from there. Gaetan. Oh, you're having a laugh. Great ball. <laughs> and just like that. Just like that. We've controlled the game. And now it's 2-2. I think Luigi might have to come off it. I think we're going to have to bring on Richarlison. This has not gone the way it should have. You can't be 2-0 up and just throw it away like this. Too confident. Too cocky, I think. Uh, it's a good split in ball. And they've worked it well again. Well, sorry, Luigi, you're going to have to make way. It hasn't happened, and Richarlison's got to do the business. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go attacking. We're, we're going to have to go attacking again. Can't believe that's happened. How can you concede that quickly in two? How many goals we concede that? Oh, hang on a minute. Chance for Richarlison. Hammes. David. Flicks it over. Richarlison was there. And we're going to go for a flourish here now. Full pelt. No hanging about. Allen. Come on, Allen. Pick it up, son. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned now about these counters from from Braga. We've been we've been caught twice. Oh, Aaron's. Will he get a second go? He will. Feeds it inside. David. Oh, David. 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 Suddenly, David's forgotten how to play football. And with seven minutes left, this game could go anyway, folks. And if we end up losing this, it's going to be the biggest defeat I've. Well, one of the worst defeats I've ever had because of how in control we were and then just to switch off it's been poor although here's Richarlison now Saar is it back to Andre Gomez can't believe that is that a foul ref? it's not a foul I don't know what happened there here's Dinya but players are just feeling a lot more sluggish now a lot more slower well here's Allen now David finish it off David ah oh, the ball was good but just took a little bit too too long to get it down. Andre. And we'll take the foul. I'll always take a foul. Always take a foul. Finally, the referee's whipping out some yellows. I mean, it probably wasn't even a yellow. The first one was a foul. Right here. Well, he did kick my foot. Second time he got the ball. Well, this is it, isn't it? I mean, if there's anything perfect more than this, this is the time for James to pull out some Colombian magic. <sighs> a tough one though I don't know how much bend we want to put on this I feel like we've got to put a decent amount on it oh he's hit the bar K 
Can Richarlison finish it? He can! Hey, Richarlison, you beauty! And he's off. He's off to Luigi's dad. Celebration all day. Well, he's going to get a yellow card there, Luigi, for getting on the field. I mean, we haven't won the World Cup, but we'll certainly take it. Oh, you love it. And this is why I like longer matches, folks, because you get a 3-2. You get something like this. After that West Ham game, at least this one's been a little bit more tantalising. It hasn't finished yet. Look how close this is. Oh, it's unlucky. And this header, though, was perfection. Bang, right in the corner. He comes on and he scores. And honestly, I have to say it, if Luigi wasn't on the field, we probably wouldn't have scored. <laughs> I feel bad, but he understands. And David just hoofs it clear. Three minutes to stop his time. James is on the charge, but he doesn't really need to. Everton have just got to keep players behind the ball. It will be a big result for Everton. Two wins out of two. It's a good start for them in this campaign, but they've got to be careful. And the referee has given a foul here. What's that for, ref? Well, there's a bit of argy-bargy-bargy going on here because I don't know where the foul was. Let's have another look. I mean, come on, ref. Give him a laugh. Well, this is a chance. This is a chance. Galino, but he's got to keep it away from Mina. But he's found Mina. It's not a good ball. And David's flicked it on. And James Rodriguez is on the chase. They've got to get the ball forward. They're into the final few seconds, but well done, Andre Gomez. He'll take this forward. He would have wanted to lay it over the top. Why didn't he? That's the question. Because suddenly now, Sporting Braga have one final throw. Ball over the top. Saar gets it away. Referee, blow the whistle, please. Blow the whistle. Castro with a chance, and he's missed the target. Thank gosh. And there we have it, folks. We led 2-0. Conceded two in three minutes. Hamez comes on, hits the crossbar with a free kick. And Richarlison was there for the header. Blimey. I can't be doing this every match. Madness. But we'll take it. And uh, here's a shot count. 14. I mean, we still dominated on the shots. 14 to 5. They have more possession. But man of the match is David. All right, let's have a look at the other results. So Inter lost. Hmm, 3-0 to Real Madrid. I guess they showed up on that one. Porto won 3-0. Paris Saint-Germain beat Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Napoli lost, uh, or sorry, drew against Liverpool. Chelsea lost to St. Petersburg. Juventus drew against Atletico Madrid. Barcelona drew against Bayern Munich. Man City beating Benfica. So we've had a good start here I'm liking it I mean taking on Inter in the next game though twice back to back that's going to be the big one if we can get four points out of them two matches I think that would be enough for us uh, to advance through and uh, we will return ladies and gents to take on Bournemouth who I don't know how where they're doing they're doing eighth place okay could be worse so yeah a bit of Bournemouth action for you guys after that, we will sim these friendlies because they're pointless. Uh, and then we're taking on uh, QPR hmm. in uh, the FA Cup before Inter and then Aston Villa. Remember, we've got a lot of easier games at the beginning and then it gets ridiculously difficult uh, come November. Uh, and then, yeah, December's brutal as well. So lots to come. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, let me know. And until next time, take care.